greetings from St. Francis as we uh, pray together and celebrate this Eucharist on Monday, the beginning of this new week, asking God for blessings and guidance and all the graces we need. And we begin our prayers as we always do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, as we enter into those sacred mysteries, we take a moment to connect with God, to enter into God's love, into God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us, sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Jesus and to strive after all that does it honor. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Zadim. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves of the wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I detest. They weigh me down, I tire of the load. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the, to the upright, upright, I will show the saving power of God. God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To, to the, the upright, I will show the saving power of God. of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you. To the, to the upright, upright I will show the saving power of God. God. When you do these things, should I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourselves? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To, to the, the upright, upright I, I will show, show the saving power of God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, this is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. Lord. God on my mind, my lips, and in my heart. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not word of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worth of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of those little ones to drink because he is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his 12 disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I think uh, that's, uh, that's the key point of, of this gospel. You know, we got to give of ourselves. You know, when you talk about values and priorities, you got to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to give of yourself, you know, for God's sake, to be, experienced, to be able to experience truly God's graces, you know, and the kingdom of God here on earth. And, and I think this is such a crucial uh, invitation and, and teaching of Jesus because nowadays I think people are thinking about themselves so much and, and on, on one level it's important, you know, you got to stay healthy, you got to take care of yourself, but, but you know, if you go farther uh, into the extreme, we become egocentric, you know, it's all about us. And I think this is, uh, this is the warning, you know, that gospel passage and, and, and the invitation of Jesus to go in the opposite direction. He has, you know, to be able to be smart about, uh, you know, uh, taking care of yourself, but at the same time have the ability to give of yourself for the sake of others. You know, to, to give of yourself, you know, as, 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 as parents, you know, you know uh, give of themselves for the sake of the children, you know, uh, the community of faith for the greater glory of, of, of God, you know, I think it is crucial and important that we live uh, this way. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. And after reflecting on scripture, we continue our prayers and present our petitions to God. And so we pray first for the church, for people of faith around the world, along with our shepherds, Pope Francis and Bishop Blaise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country for the president, for those in authority on national and local levels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community here, for all the members of St. Francis of Assisi Parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our brothers and sisters in need, for those dear to us who need our prayers and support, especially those who are sick, those who are dealing maybe with COVID, with other illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, for our loved ones who passed away, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
pray also for ourselves and our intentions, those we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In all our prayers, all our petitions, we present to God and ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And that Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just that with duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once again gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The brothers and sisters, the mystery of our faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, apostles, and all the saints, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And friends, together we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours Amen. now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other that sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. peace. And God bless. Peace. peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God. You, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. grant us peace. peace. The brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to his table. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof. The only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this Eucharist, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Thank you and have a wonderful day and have a wonderful week. God bless.